Hello, this is Nick with IndieGameBundles.com, your number one spot for information about all indie bundles. In this episode of 10 Indie Minutes, we'll be looking at Tower Climb by DavioWare. It's an outstanding, procedurally generated platformer with a touch of Spelunky. Uh, well, I like to think of it as Spelunky in reverse, where we're going from the bottom to the top instead of top down. Uh, it requires a lot of finesse and perseverance and patience, and uh, quite a bit of strategy, actually, which I was really happily surprised about. Uh, I absolutely love the sound design in this, the graphics, the pixel art, it's all really nice. And when you add in the fact that it's all randomly generated, it makes it even better. So uh, right off the, s the bat here we've got uh, some red berries, which are actually explosives. Um, the thing I have with those red berries a little iffy is they look a little bit like these golden berries, which you'd think golden berries would be golden, but they actually look pretty red uh, with like a golden tinge to them. Uh, and sometimes I tend to confuse the two, but right now we happen to get pretty lucky on our first level. We're going straight up, we got one of these balloon puffer thingies, I don't know what you want to call them exactly. But they make the first level uh, a much nicer thing when you happen to get them, and they'll show up occasionally. So in that top right corner, that's one of the golden berries, you can see it's got a slightly different tinge to it. And those are used to actually buy things from a witch, which will show up occasionally. So uh, this game does have falling damage, uh, if you fall I think it's about four tiles or so, I'm, I could be off on that, you'll actually get stunned and then a little bit more than that you'll actually die. Uh, and you do get two lives per run, uh, and you can buy more from the witch if you have enough golden berries. Uh, you'll notice in the bottom right corner though, there are a few different potions. Uh, the purple one, the jumping potion, the red one, the corrosive potion, and then the green one's a teleport potion. And those will help you get out of some sticky situations, and there will be sticky situations a plenty. Uh, trust me on that, this uh, random generator is pretty good at coming up with uh, weird layouts that can be a little tougher to traverse than you may expect. So this guy's got a long way to go. I don't know exactly how high this tower is, but I think I've maxed out around floor 4 or 5. And uh, things start to get a little bit crazier up there. There's actually all kinds of different uh, enemies and, you know, visual themes and such. So you can cling onto the ceilings, you can cling onto the walls. Use your berries, strategize, you can uh, you can actually get a few items, there's an inventory. And uh, since this is a beta, I mean, it's not even the finished version yet, but it's looking so promising so far, and I've already logged a bunch of hours into it, and it's just absolutely great time. Uh, I mean, as long as you have patience. If it's one of those things where you just get frustrated easily, you may not be too into this one, but as long as you can keep your cool and move, you know, slowly and precisely and don't rush, you should be okay. So there's another corrosive berry there. I'm not sure. Do I use that one? I do. Okay, well I throw it at a wall. Mostly to get it out of the way, I guess. I think what I had in mind was I was going to try and blow up that block up above, and that didn't work out. Now I'm, t I'm testing to see if I can get around the top edge of that, and it doesn't seem like that's possible either. So I think I'm going to make a dash jump to the left, and that would be stun damage. Doesn't kill me. Doesn't actually do anything. Uh, just, you know, if you fall off a ledge could be a problem. So jumping potion number two. And of course you can run into more jumping potions on your way, uh, aside from that they're, you know, I think you can get them from chests and stuff too. And uh, since it's an, a randomly generated game, there's all kinds of different elements that you may or may not ever run into. So I've used up all my jump potions now. And you'll notice the purple berries, what, those are, um, those are like instant use versions of them. You can only collect, I think it's four, three of them. If you get a fourth, your heart explodes, and that was a close call right there. Uh, so you have to make sure you don't use too many. So that would be the witch right there. And she'll let you buy stuff if you have the berries, and I do indeed have a few. So I think I'm going to spend them on some jump potions, so that seems like a pretty good plan. And sort of like Spelunky, there's situations where there'll be like boxes you can push around, or spikes you don't want to land on. Um, and, and things just get more and more hectic and chaotic as you keep going. I mean, you'll see as I get further on, I end up dying quite a bit here. I'm not exactly an expert or anything, but I do sort of have the basics down now. So my one uh, complaint, if this is really a huge complaint, as I know the developer's already mentioned he's going to be addressing this, uh, the controls are a little iffy. Uh, there's actually a button map for each of the individual uh, potions, and then when you add on that, like, a lot of specific controls about movement, it gets to be like there's quite a few buttons. And I, I don't generally mind that, but if you're trying to do it on the keyboard, it can be a bit of a hassle. So I actually went and mapped this to my 360 controller with Joy to Key, and that actually helped quite a bit. Uh, but there's still a few moments where I feel like I screw up, largely just because I'm not a master of the controls yet. 
and I think if some of that was simplified, it would actually take some of the guesswork out of it, and I think lead to better runs overall. But once you master, like, all the, the little basics, the simple strategies, and you get the controls pretty well down, you can definitely feel uh, quite competent at this game. You know, as long as you don't get put in a situation where some random enemy just drops on your head and you have no control over that. Which can happen. Uh, there are these worm larvae and rats, you'll see those running around. I think the rats actually bark like dogs, which is a little strange, but maybe they are dogs, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, they can just fall off ledges randomly and land on your head, and that's kind of the end of that. Uh, so there's also these little random events that you'll run into, like sometimes the floor will become lava. <laughs> that happens. Uh, it'll start rising from the bottom and you have to keep pace, otherwise you die. Um, and I believe that will eat up both of your lives since there is now no way for you to recover. There's also instances where you go to open the door and instead of going to the next level you'll actually get poison gas, in which case you have to rush back down to the bottom. That can be a bit of a surprise. And here's a tough spot. I think I'd, yeah, I just jump right over him. I love these little details, like these uh, light flares coming through the text and stuff. It's this nice mix of uh, simple pixel art with some really nice, like, st uh, newer computing type style graphic touches. Uh, so this is a water level, and I do decently to get up and actually break my record right there. So there you go, that was my high score. Uh, immediately eaten by a fish, and then they respawn you just in time to pretty much get eaten again. Luckily I make it out. Uh, so there's worm larvae popping out of all the walls here, that could be a problem. I'm gonna avoid that. Um, and then, you'll see how simple it is to just really screw up a decent run. Ah, uh, just didn't give myself enough room, and dead. I was rigorously torn apart, very thoroughly torn apart by that fish. But that'll happen. Uh, you can't really dwell in your deaths for very long, uh, there will be many of them. And back to the title screen we go, where we will begin the climb anew. And uh, check out my log, so there you can see my progress as we've gone. The uh, purple dot on the top right corner is my newest one, obviously. And we're gonna start over real fast. Losing focus is death gives you a little inspirational quote at the beginning to keep you moving. Um, we managed to get the uh, balloon level again for the second time, that's kinda lucky. I'm not sure what the frequency of the random elements is. I mean, it seems like they come up fairly frequently, but at the same time, you know, it's random, so there's no real way to know. Uh, and this is a special thing. This is the Path of Exiles. This is a really extra, extra hard level, which I believe will warp you up to maybe it's the next tier on the tower or something. I actually haven't beaten these yet. <laughs> As you can see, these crazy blades are spinning like something out of a uh, Cloudberry Kingdom or Super Meat Boy level. And of course, the hitboxes are a little bigger than I expected, immediately dead, and fall off the balloon and die a second time. So that's an entire game right there. Uh, what was that? Barely 30 seconds? Yeah, that'll happen. You'll go from having a decent run, breaking a record, to dying many times in a row right at the beginning. Courage will take you where? Courage will just take you. It'll take your life. And each time you get a randomly generated character as well. Look, this is a Floor's Lava level. I do terrible on this one. Uh, so the character will have a different colored tunic and a different name, so you can, uh, you know, really get attached to them before you get them killed by something stupid. And they're just sort of panicked and incinerated just like that. Very quick. Again. So, uncontrollably cremated. Couldn't help it, what can you do? So let's go for another one. I think I go for another Path of Exiles on this, just because I wanted to go a little crazy with it. His palms grow sweaty, yeah, they, they do do that. Uh, this game is definitely tense at times. Especially when you're starting to do pretty well. Uh, that would be the boomerang. I still haven't quite mastered how you deal with these inventory items. Uh, I was hoping it sort of works like Spelunky, but it just sort of gets stuck sometimes and then just falls away. So, I don't know, I'll figure that out eventually. I should mention this game is up on Greenlight right now. You can actually vote for it to come onto Steam, and I highly recommend that you do so. It definitely deserves it. And uh, right now you can actually buy or pre-order the full game and get a copy of the beta right now to play. So you'll be able to play right what I'm doing right now. And it's uh, quite affordable as well, so I, I do recommend that you guys check this one out. So, Path of Exiles, let's do it. And fortunately this time I was rewarded with a slightly different game that I haven't actually seen before. You get this uh, crazy little carnival thing where you get to play sort of a mini game and there's uh, people hanging from ropes up there which is pretty morbid but... You know, this game's got a nice uh, dark edge to it obviously. Everything looks sort of happy but then underneath it there's uh, some macabre stuff going on, some very violent, sad stuff. 
<laughs> you will die and uh, lose. Let's get started. I say we shall. So if you were reading along, the goal here is to pick up the coins as quickly as possible. Don't fall in the lava and uh, just uh, do it fast. Don't uh, run out of time. So uh, the timer down on the bottom left there is ticking down quite quickly. Uh, I mean, that's, you know, normal amount of time, but still it was going faster than I was anticipating. So we get down to a bit of a photo finish here. Can I make it? Uh, no. I actually was a few milliseconds too late, so now I die. It's the punishment for my insubordination. And uh, that is how it ends, unfortunately. Another run thrown into lava. But I highly urge you guys go check this one out. It's an awesome game, Tower Climb. And it uh, definitely deserves some support. So I'll see you next time for another episode of 1080 Minutes. Thank you for watching.